Hi guys, it's Angela Ben's mom, and I just have a great story I wanna share with you, an autism awareness story of something that happened with Ben out in the community that as his mom and as the one helping him with his page and his mission to show people that kids who have autism can do great things, um, this is a great story to share. You may hear some singing in the background. Ben's doing some music lessons. Um, so we were at a Walgreens. Ben gets blood work done regularly and he goes to a lab that's inside the Walgreens. And so I want you to picture how he was like dressed and all. He had a mask on for COVID. He had sunglasses on for sensory issues because the fluorescent lighting sometimes in those pharmacies and outdoor, you know, those indoor places like stores or post offices or things like that. They bother him still. So sometimes he wears sunglasses inside a place. So he had sunglasses on, he had earbuds on, he's listening to his own music on his iPhone. He doesn't always like the music that's overhead, depends what it is. Um, he, it calms him to listen to his own music. So he had his earbuds, headphones, um, sunglasses, and a mask inside. Got his lab work done, he did great. We're leaving. Even though he does well, it still causes him to be a bit stimmy afterwards as he's letting go of like the stress. So we're online at the, at the um, checkout and people, there's many people behind us, although the line's spaced out, there's like a pretty decent amount of people behind us and there's one person ahead of us checking out. So as we're waiting for her to complete her checkout, Ben's standing next to me. He's not, he's not, you know, affecting anyone, not bothering anyone as far as he's not too close to them. He's not being too loud. Um, he's just being very stimmy. He's rocking and flapping his hands. Um, he's making a little bit of noise, not loud noise, a little bit of grunting, kind of like humming sound to relax himself. But it wasn't anything that should have affected anybody but we're getting the looks at this point from the people behind us of like you know what's wrong with that child um what's the mom gonna do about it you know the type of looks i'm talking about and i let it go often because he's not really bothering anybody and this is how kids with autism have to be sometimes to keep calm so here's the great part so we're getting a lot of looks. People are, you know, have that look on their face like, oh boy. And we go up to the register and the woman behind the register is like, are you Ben from Maybe Autism is My Superpower? And I have to nudge Ben and say, hey Ben, this, the woman's talking to you. So he takes his earbuds out and she's like, are you Ben? And he's like, yeah. She's like, I follow you on your, on Facebook and I've read your book. You, you wrote a great book. And he's like, thanks. And they're talking about his book. And she's like, he said he wrote other books. And then she said she loves his music and she hears him on the radio um, every week. And, and Ben's saying thank you. And they're having a little bit of a typical type of conversation. But the best part of this story is that the people behind me are like, what is going on? Like that kid? You know, that kid all of a sudden can speak. And obviously this woman knows him for something positive he's doing out in the community. And they had that like, what kind of look on their face. And it's a great moment. And the moment really just kind of emphasizes that these kids often look to other people as if they don't have abilities and that they're not functioning well. And those are their stimulatory behaviors. They need these stems to calm down and feel better. And what's the big deal, right? Like what's the big deal? But if people look at it and judge it and are dismissing it and get nervous around it, um, they're going to minimize how surprised they can be and how they won't be able to see the awesomeness and all that's underneath it all, right? All these abilities these kids have to offer and, and what they really can do. So it's really once somebody engaged with Ben, started talking to Ben, and he started to communicate a little bit or share some of what he's doing, 
Um, it was really an aha moment. I loved it as his mom being able to watch the difference in um, expression that people had that were watching him. And I just thought it was a great teaching moment. So please share and just remind everyone that don't judge these kids based on flapping, stimming, rocking, whatever it is they may need to do to keep calm. Engage with them, get to know them. They have wonderful things to offer and you just might be surprised. All right, bye guys. Have a great day. Don't forget, as Ben always says, autism is a superpower. Bye guys.